Hey there everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So OpenAI has just enabled Canvas for OpenAI Oven and also now Canvas supports rendering HTML and React web pages. And also we know that, you know, DeepSeek already has the option to run HTML code. And what a coincidence, these updates have arrived at the exact time when we had to compare these two models for their front-end code generation capabilities. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, this is our prompt. Can you draw a dragon in a web page? Straightforward. Let's enable the canvas mode in OpenAI Oven and DeepSea Carbon will automatically understand that it's in web page and have will have the option to run it in HTML file. So let's send this to both of the models. Let's see what they come up with. So both the models have started thinking and hopefully when the Oven model is done thinking, we'll see the code in the canvas code editor. So DeepSea Carbon is done thinking and so has OpenAI Oven and we do see the canvas code editor popping up and we have the run html option here in the deep sea carbon as well so deep sea carbon is done let's run this okay so this is what we have got i do think that these are two these two are the wings and they are flapping and this triangle is the head and that yellow thing over there is the fire not very good but kind of okay moving on to open ai oven let's see okay so it says behold the dragon and this is what we have got i don't understand where is dragon in this and compared to deep sea carbon i think uh, it's very bad so let's give the feedback to both of these models so this is the feedback that we are giving to both of these models so open AI oven we are saying that what have you given does it look like a dragon to you and to deep sea carbon we are just mentioning that i'm not able to clearly understand that it's a dragon maybe you can try harder and come up with a that looks like a dragon okay so it has started generating meanwhile let's see what update has deep sea carbon done oh my god that looks absolutely awesome that is phenomenal i mean like in no way it's perfect but anyone would see this and immediately understand that it's a dragon what an improvement and you can see the consistency it has the core nature of this drawing but it has completely transformed it to something else i mean this is phenomenal will openai oven be able to beat this i highly doubt so this is what openai oven has come up with a majestic dragon can you see this just compare these two everything is in front of you let's do one thing maybe it was the prompt maybe you gave a very good prompt i guess so let's do one thing let's copy this and let's you know send this to the open ai oven model the exact prompt and let's see what it comes up with and what changes does it do meanwhile let's ask the deep seek model to do an even better job so we are getting an update from the open ai oven model meanwhile this is what we are sending to the r1 model it looks better but i think you can do an even better job in making it look more like a dragon let's send this to the r1 model previously when we compared the open ai oven Claude 3.5 on it and deep seek v3 deep seek v3 was not very good and it came last was pathetic but r1 model is on another level so meanwhile when r1 is generating its code let's see what opening one has come up with okay so behold a true dragon truly majestic dragon the taglines are awesome but not the generation so i do think that you know these triangles are the horns and these are the eyes and these are horns on its head these are two wings but we don't see any kind of tail and we do see a weird circle over here meanwhile r1 is done generating and i'm really excited what we'll be able to see let's run this oh my god have a look at it it has its eyes moving it's blinking its eyes have a look at it, it how animated it is so we can understand that this is its body these are its two wings it's the tail head horn eyes that are blinking and this is the fire and meanwhile compare this to oven let's go even further i think we can you know ask it to do an even better job you can see its movements how a bird or a dragon glides in the sky in a similar way this dragon is also gliding phenomenal job from deep seek okay so this is what we'll be sending to the both of the models the dragon looks awesome but you might have to perfect its proportions and make it clear not messy so let's send this to the deep sea carbon and meanwhile we'll have to make open ai oven perform its best so i'm i'm sending this to the oven model it slightly looks like a dragon but i expect a lot better from you you are the best of the best llm everyone looks and admires you and this is what you give back to them what will they think when their leader itself is doing such a pathetic job maybe you can start from scratch and show everyone what you can do so meanwhile we have a response from deep sea carbon every single time i'm very excited to click this run html button to actually see what it will come up with let's see okay okay now it looks like a dragon even better than the previous ones yeah the tail is kind of disoriented the fire is also 
not fixed but it looks better than the previous one meanwhile let's see what open ai oven has come up with so it has wrote a very long code it's 378 lines let's see the preview okay so it has given us a moon mountains and this is what it has come up with i don't think it looks anywhere near to what deep sea carbon has come up with and i mean like they are miles apart so i do think it's pretty much clear who is the winner it's absolutely the r1 model and and what a lead i mean like these aren't even comparable if i start a poll i think most of the people will think that this generation has come out from o3 mini or o3 or something so what a phenomenal job from the r1 model let's try something else let's open up a new canvas and ask something else to these models so this time around we are asking these models to build a super mario game in web page let's see if they are actually able to do this and this time who wins so let's see what open ai one has come up with so it says use arrow keys to move and jump so let's move so we don't see any kind of obstacles or anything it's just a rectangle and the ground below let's see what r1 has come up with let's run this oh my god would you look at that i mean like now it's not even in doubt Deep sea carbon is absolutely awesome. Let's see what happens when we cross this flag. You win. Refresh to play again. Absolutely awesome. I mean like compare. This is OpenAI Oven and this is what we've got from Deep sea carbon. Let's do one thing. Let's take a screenshot of this and send this to the Oven model. And we'll ask it that you know your competitor was able to come up with this with the exact same prompt. What the hell are you doing? Let's see. Okay, so we have sent the update to the OpenAI Oven model. Meanwhile, let's ask the Deep Seek R1 to improve it. So this is what we are sending to the R1 model. Make the Mario look more like Mario and the enemies more like enemies. Make it the best rendition of the Mario game. So let's send this. And meanwhile, OpenAI is most probably thinking and will, and it will start editing anytime now. So the OpenAI Oven and Deep Seek R1 both are ready with their codes. Let's see. First, let's run the R1 model's code okay so here in the box it shows the image is required so i do think that it is asking for an image we have to clarify that will not be providing any kind of images it has to generate all by its own so we are asking the deep sea carbon model no images will be provided all has to be generated by you fix it and if you want to come up with a better version you can do that as mario was not visible meanwhile let's see what open eye one has come up with okay so this is what we've got use the arrow keys to move left and right and jump up so these are coins here you can see the board is moving ahead and this is awesome this is what i expect from the open ai one model so we can kill the enemies as well and you know new enemies also arise so we have lost one life let's see now this exactly looks like the mario game and you win congratulations so this is what i expect from the open ai one model finally it has arrived so let's ask it to update and make it even better so we are sending this to the open ai one model it looks awesome but the mario doesn't look like mario and so do the enemies you will not be provided any external images come up with the best rendition of mario game show everyone who is the best here so the scolding we gave to the open ai one model did work out so this is also a kind of prompt engineering meanwhile i think uh, deep sea carbon has come up with the new code let's run this oh my god this does look like mario absolutely awesome let's run this okay what a game it looks absolutely awesome okay so even if we hit the enemies it's a game over let me verify this let's run it again okay so even hitting the enemies you know causing it to end the game which needs to be corrected meanwhile open ai oven has started editing and coming up with the new file let's ask this to the deep sea carbon model so this is what we are sending to the deep sea carbon model when i bounce over the enemies they should die but that is not what is happening and also the game is too short i think it should be long and i should be able to move a while after i see the flag so let's send this and meanwhile open ai oven is i think still editing if you look at the length of the code it's 438 lines of code it was the previous one let's see what do we see with this new version okay so this time around we are working with 503 lines of code so let's run this let's see what do we have okay oh my god that looks very similar to the actual mario that is awesome and even you know the movement how it's gliding you i hope you are able to see that the, the way it's moving it's absolutely awesome let's play this and let's see if there is any kind of issues or anything like that okay so we are able to kill the enemy and you win congratulations absolutely awesome work from the open ai oven after a bit of scolding it is in the right track moving on let's see what deep sea carbon has come up with okay even this one looks 
quite good but not as good as the OpenAI O1. So let's see. So we asked it to make the game quite a bit longer and it is working. And also we said that when we bounce over the enemy it should be killed that is also awesome but uh, we do see an issue that you know the ground disappears sometime you find you win final score 800 awesome so let's actually look comparatively at these two and i do think that this time around open ai one has a slight edge and even the mario looks more like mario this was pretty awesome having looked at the awesome capabilities of deep sea car one i do think that I should ask the Pac-Man question to these models. That will be way better. Let's do one thing. Let's ask the Pac-Man question to these models. So if you have been watching my videos, you might be familiar with this. So this is the Pac-Man question that is the hard level coding question, which I use in my complete comparison of models. So if you haven't watched that video between the deep sea carbon and oven, I have recorded it recently and I'll be linking that in the at the end of this video. Make sure you watch that video. So here I've actually tweaked that prompt a bit because you know in that prompt we used to ask it to generate in python but here we are asking it to you know build a pac-man game that runs entirely in web browser so let's see what do they come up with i'm very much excited because unlike the performance of the r1 model when it comes to python generation here in web app generation it's absolutely awesome so okay so openai one is done with its code and it's 600 level lines of code meanwhile even the deep sea carbon has come up with a very long code so let's first try openai one and let's see what it has come up with okay it looks pretty awesome we do also have sound effects but there is no way that we can you know go to the enemies and the maze is split into four compartments we'll have to fix this so meanwhile let's have a look at what deep sea carbon has come up with i'm very much excited okay so it just directly says you win without allowing us to play that is a disappointment so comparatively i think at least open i one was able to run the code but uh, this is the first setback we see from the r1 model let's try this again so to the oven model we are sending this prompt so the game we have created there is no way for the pac-man to reach the ghost and vice versa this is not the pac-man game i know make the authentic pac-man game with the correct maze meanwhile to the deep sea carbon we are sending i was not able to play it directly showed you win please fix that and also the maze looks nothing like the original game i want the identical original game so let's send this to both of the models okay so open a has done generating the code let's see okay it says cannot preview your code and error occurred while trying to run let's see the console type error undefined is an odd is not an object evaluating measure let's see if we are able to fix the bug so here let's click this fix bugs button and i think it will start fixing the bugs meanwhile let's see what deep sea carbon has come up with let's run this code okay so now it looks awesome but the pac-man is moving way fast and uh, if you see closely it is, it is disappearing and appearing from nowhere and also there is only one ghost so not a very good output from the deep sea model so i do think that with deep sea carbon we are getting no where and let's actually check what open a one has come up with okay so cannot preview your code an error occurred so it's not clearly working here in the canvas interface so at the end what can we say which one is better so looking at the first one that is you know drawing the dragon it's absolutely a clear one to the deep seek not only it was ahead in the first iteration but the subsequent updates it did added animation make made the dragon more clear it was absolutely awesome whereas o1 was just you know adding background mountains moon and everything moving on to the mario one deep seek Garvin was again ahead in the first iteration but after scolding the o1 very badly it did come back and what a comeback it was and that ended in a close call between the deep sea carbon and open ai oven where open ai oven had a slight edge due to its better movements and animation and talking about the pac-man game both of the models were not able to come up with a very good response but the first iteration of the open ai oven was awesome it had the sound as well it was just that the pac-man you know didn't have any way to go to the ghosts and the ghosts couldn't come to the pac-man so just correcting the maze would have made it run whereas the deep sea car one was not able to give us the running code in the first attempt but the last one that it gave was kind of okay not very good code but it was an okay code so what can we say comparing these two models is quite hard because 
they are head to head even in our previous comparison where I did the complete test of both of these models they were head to head but if we have to mention the strength and weaknesses of these models i do think that when it comes to aesthetic performance like you know generating better visuals i think deep sea carbon has an edge over that because previously you know even in my usage i have seen that open ai oven is not very good at creating good visuals so deep sea carbon has an edge in that also deep sea carbon is very good in animations because it was able to create very phenomenal animations when it comes to the dragon but where deep sea carbon lacks is i think you know getting the actual mechanics and the physics right i hope it makes sense you know even in my previous comparison i did find it hard to even you know make the snake game run which is very easy one so i do think in the general code syntax and you know the general mechanics and physics of these games deep sea carbon does fall short in that and exactly that is the advantage of the open ai oven model because you know you might argue that the animation was not good with open ai oven but uh, it clearly you know took that path of making a 2d non animated drawing and it stick to that but i do think that if we asked an animated version it could do a good job maybe not as good as the r1 model but it would do a pretty good job but talking about the raw you know mechanics and physics it got it very right i mean like uh, if you talk about the movement in the pacman game the sound effects and you know the the jumping animation in the mario game i did feel that open ai oven had a slight edge in that compared to r1 model but i do think that if you are working with something if you are generating a code or doing anything i think since now you know the key places where they lack you can you know structure your prompt in such a manner so that the these models are aware of it and do a good job at it and with that both of these models will be able to overcome that and give you a very good response having said that there is a very big plus point with the deep sea carbon that can make it a clear winner and that is its price so if you compare the prices of the open ai oven and deep sea carbon deep sea carbon is 30 times cheaper 30 times if you are you know running this model through an api you can come up with various tweaks like you know running it uh, three times or using agentic behavior all of that to absolutely dominate open ai oven whereas given the very costly price of the open ai oven model it makes it hard to use it anywhere i mean like you know open ai oven has been here since few months but you don't see its application even in the cursor or in windsor for any other code editors because given its pricing its api limits and everything practically not feasible to come up with a plan you know where you can have sufficient access to oven meanwhile deep sea carbon is a model which you can you know actually implement in these code editors i don't know what the hell they are doing i think they should implement deep sea carbon given its given its absolute coding performance but this actually makes deep sea carbon a useful model with its awesome pricing so that gives deep sea carbon a clear win according to me if you talk about usability so this was my coding comparison of these models did you like it if yes then do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch this video where as i've been telling you i have i've made a complete comparison of this model so you can watch that video here with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one